Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Shannon. I go by Schnappers on the internet, and it's been a hot minute since I've made a video. As y'all know, I've been running the Run SLC series, which is a 5K, 10K, and 15K. And today I just ran the 15K, so I'm here to do a quick race recap because honestly, there honestly there really wasn't much for me to report with this race and how I felt, except I definitely was really tired. I really didn't want to run it. I wore this sweatshirt, probably shouldn't have worn it. Probably should have just stuck with my long sleeve underneath it. And yeah, that's pretty much the recap, I guess. That's like a summary of it. With this race, my husband did come with me. He drove me to the race. We got there about a half an hour early. Just like last time, except this time the porta potty line was like so long. And after a bit of a drive to Salt Lake to this race, I needed to use it. So I got stuck in that line and I ended up being in that line for like 20 minutes. And so I didn't actually get to start the race until after everybody else had started. So I technically didn't start. My chip time says I didn't start till 8.05, almost six minutes after everyone else started. That was kind of a slight disadvantage for me, starting almost six minutes after everybody else, which is fine because luckily for us, um, the way that this race works is it's just based off of your chip time. Obviously you can race against everybody else and still try to be first, which I wasn't gonna get, but I'm ra mainly racing against myself. So my total time um, ended up being about I'm one of those runners where I like break it into chunks and I do 5k, 5k, 5k. And I was trying to do that, but like on that very last stretch, I just like felt myself like not wanting to run the rest of it. This is the longest race that I've run. It's not the longest distance I've ever like done in trainings before, but it was the longest race, which is new. So my goal was mainly to finish. I was trying to stay under two hours, which kind of around like the last two miles, I realized I wasn't going to be under two hours, but that's okay. It's okay. I'm fine with it. I was running about like a 13, 14 minute pace, mostly just jogging. I just, I don't know. Cause some people feel different about when they run races. I've heard a lot of people say like, don't push your way to the front. Like it's better to be in the back cause you're ra racing against your own time. So you can go as fast or as slow as you want with less people running around you, you know, passing you and whatever. And I'm like, that's a really, that is a really good piece of advice that some people do. And while it works for some people, that's absolutely amazing. It doesn't work for me. I found that out today because I got stuck running a little later. Um, I personally didn't feel great <laughs> running last, like being like in the back. Like it, it's not normally something I do. I like to be somewhere in the middle. I like to you know, within the first two miles, I usually find a couple people that I can kind of use to pace myself because I suck at pacing myself. And I felt like I didn't have that this time and that the people I was pacing myself with were running way too slow and mostly walking it. And I didn't feel like that was what I wanted to do. So there were times when I was like jogging or like slightly sprinting a little bit to try and go a little bit faster because I had to also remind myself mentally like this is a race like you are allowed to push yourself this is not a training run push yourself like it's okay you're trying to go for that time but it just felt weird to like pass people up because they were going so slow in the far back where i got stuck and i don't know i just felt weird about it yeah that's kind of how that went so i ended up pacing myself with people who are going much slower than i would have preferred so hence why I got more of like a 13 minute mile instead of like being on that 12 minute mile, which I was trying to shoot for, but it's okay. I, there really wasn't anything remarkable about this course. I mean, they did change it last minute uh, based on what I was seeing on the map last night. Cause I was using that to kind of help mentally prepare myself. And last minute while we were running towards Liberty Park, apparently Liberty Park decided, the city decided they wanted to do demolition on the sidewalks there at the park. So we couldn't run the route that we had planned. So they had to last minute change our route and change the directions we were going. So that kind of messed me up again mentally. 
because honestly, when it comes to running, a lot of this is mental, but yeah. 13 minutes still really isn't like a bad time. It's just not what I wanted. It's not what I was training for. It's not what I had been doing in training. But yeah, that's kind of how the race went. I just don't feel amazing about it. But as I keep looking outside my window, I am expected to get a treadmill today. And that treadmill is going to be mine. It's going to be in my basement. And so I'll be able to film more videos about that and the training process. And I'll also have easier access to this treadmill now because it'll be in my house. So my training will look a little different than it was previously. It's just the house and like where we moved, it's not the best for me to go to the gym or even like drive to my office and use the gym at my office. There's a lot of different factors which have affected my training. So hopefully this helps. I can't wait to film more videos like that. I also plan on doing some tier lists and trying out different pre-workouts and energy drinks and letting you guys know how I feel about them and how they make me feel. Again, it's my own personal experiences. Everyone's is gonna be different because your body's gonna be different than mine and it's gonna react different. But I think they might still be fun, some fun videos and I know hubby wants to get involved in a couple of them. So look forward to that. But that's really all I got for you today. I mean, I made some friends in the porta potty line. That's like a weird thing to say. Made some friends in the porta potty line. The two guys in front of me were really cool. And if they ever watched us, hi, you guys were really cool. Um, it was fun to just stand there, I guess, in line together while you guys were just chatting. I made some friends in the line. I don't know. It also, again, I kind of mentioned it in like the previous race recaps that I, that is one thing I definitely miss about not being in Ohio is that I have friends there. I've run with my friends before. And it's fun to run races with your friends because you guys use each other to pace and it's just more fun. Cause like when you're on your own, you're just like on your own. So it feels kind of weird. Like, I don't know. I don't push myself as hard when it's just me out there by myself. So hopefully I change that for next month's 12K. And the 12K that I have next month is really the only race that I have coming up for a while. I figured maybe this summer and even like early fall, maybe in the fall, I might run a 5K or two, um, but I'm gonna try to take summer and early fall off from racing officially. And I'm just gonna focus on training. Um, I definitely need to work on some speed workouts. I need to do more intervals and I need to build up my endurance. Like I said, with this 15K, this was the longest race I've done. It was kind of up there on the mileage of what I'm used to doing. So it was, it was a bit of a struggle for me. I definitely wanna just prepare myself better. And I know I can do it because I've done it in the past and I'm going to do it. Thank y'all for watching this video. I know it was super short. I mean, there's nothing remarkable about what happened at the race today. So yeah, hope y'all have a wonderful day. By the time you guys are seeing this, I'll be deep into training for the next race and hopefully we'll have some fun videos coming out to you guys soon. So if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys again next week. Bye.